Well, I finally went ahead and did it. I, I got my 1800 pusher installed on my 4066R. You know, I've been wanting to do a comparison 1800 versus 1500 series for a little while now, ever since they came out with the 1800 series to kind of fill that gap between 1500 series to the huge jump to the 2500 series. And so this is a well-suited uh, pusher for a tractor this size. Again, this 1800 series here is a new uh, model that's out by HLA this year. It is uh, becoming more and more popular. It'll, it'll, I'm sure, increase in market share and steal a little bit away from the 1500 series. It does offer more solutions and options for the customer to choose from. Um, this is not definitely anything that's recommended for a subcompact tractor or even a two series uh, a compact tractor, you know. And, and I'm really happy that actually I'm able to show this in black, okay? I, I do show a ton of John Deere green, but these snow pushers here are available with skid steer quick attach as well as John Deere quick attach and global quick attach. And you can even custom order them. If you have a pin down bucket, you can custom order it for your loader to fit that as well. We can get them in orange and blue and black and green, all sorts of different colors. You know, if, if you want to get one of those kind of custom colors, you may have to special order it. So if you can order it in the summertime or early fall when there's enough time to get in uh, for the whole plowing season, you know, you're, you're ahead of the game that way. So I've done some other videos that have kind of gone into depth on why I think these HLA snow pushers are superior to a lot of the other snow pushers on the market. That's not really the intent of this video. I think that these pushers speak for themselves. Um, I have a lot of happy customers out there with them. Really, I just want to kind of compare that 1500 series versus the 1800 series. So let's go ahead and talk about available sizes. In the 1500 series, you can get that in 54 inches, 60, 66, or 72 inch, okay? In the 1800 series, it's 60, 72, and 84, all right? So there's a little bit of overlap there. Um, what I wanna overlap with are gonna be if you had two 72 inch models. And so if you had a 72 inch 1500 series pusher, okay, 72 inches wide, that's gonna weigh 365 pounds without the back drag, okay? This back drag here, this black hunk of steel on top is, is an additional weight. So 365 pounds for a 72 inch wide 1500 series. In the 1800 series, that's gonna jump up to 510 pounds for a 72 inch wide variant, okay? And so what you're staring at here are gonna be a 54 inch and an 84 inch, all right? And so these are well suited for the machines that they're on. 84 inch, the largest the 1800 series can go on a four series tractor. And then the 54 inch, the smallest, the 1500 series goes on a subcompact, on a one series, okay? This is a 1025R here. Now. You'll see on, on the website, uh, maximum operating weights that are listed, okay, on, on HLA's website. 3,000 pounds for the 1500 series and 4,000 pounds for the 1800 series. This tractor here definitely weighs over 4,000 pounds. With the cab, I have loaded tires in there, a lot of ballast weight in the back. I don't think you count the ballast weight, but um, you know, I think that these things are overly constructed and for the way that uh, they design their equipment, a lot of it, HLA I'm talking about, designs it for construction use, for commercial heavy duty applications. And um, I have no, no qualms about selling an implement or an attachment like this for customers with a 4000 series tractor. You can still go up into the 2500 series, but I would definitely stay away from the 1500 series, okay? Now, if you're in a three series, you're on that, on that line there. We can go either way into an 1800 or a 1500 series. You have a lot of options there again. You know, some of those variables are gonna make you decide or help you determine what you wanna buy are gonna be width, okay? So if you wanna stay the same width as your, as your tractor, maybe you go to the 1800 series because it has a higher mold board, you know? But if you just wanna get the maximum width, maybe you're gonna go with the largest 1500 series, for instance. With the subcompacts, sorry guys, I'm, I'm really recommending just these 54 inch. I know some guys do run larger, like a, a 60 inch. I've heard some run 72s. There's always couldas and wouldas and somebody's always done something, but I'm fairly conservative. I want you guys to be very happy with the attachment you buy and to be well suited for all the applications that you might run into with heavy snowfalls and light snowfalls and wet and powdery and everything in between. So talking about mold board height, the HLA 1500 series is gonna have a 20 inch mold board height while the 1800 series is gonna be 24 inches, okay? That's part of what is driving that um, additional weight that's going into the attachment itself. One of the dimensions that wasn't readily available on their website was the, the front to back dimension, okay? And so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a dimension on the front to back of the pusher itself on the 1500 series as well as the 1800 series. So we're just gonna go ahead and measure the side plate steel here. From the inside here, the max depth I can get you, which is about 
18 and a quarter inches on the 1500 series. Now if we do that same thing, I'll find the deepest point here on the uh, 1800 series, you're gonna see it's about 21 and a quarter. So it's about, well, I forget already. I think I think three inches difference uh, front to back. So you're gonna have not only taller mold boards on the 1800 series, but deeper as well. And so you have to consider that when you're pushing snow because you have the weight of the attachment itself that you're, you're pushing, but you also have that volume of trapped snow that you're pushing as well. So taller and deeper means that you're gonna be capturing more snow, therefore more weight that you have to push as well. You know, and so a few of the um, great features that are carried over from the HLA 1500 series are gonna be the fact that you still get that replaceable, reversible cutting edge. You have your choice of rubber or steel. You're gonna have an integrated steel cutting edge here on the back drag. However, there are provisions, there's holes that are already pre-drilled or pre-engineered in here, so you can put on a rubber cutting edge if you'd like to, okay? The entire back drag closes off the whole top of the snow pusher itself, so there's no gap in there like a lot of the other manufacturers will offer. You're gonna have adjustable and replaceable skid runners as well. And so these are gonna make contact, 17 inches of contact surface on either end here. That's very significant to allow you to glide on top of the surface versus digging down in. And just for the sake of it, on the 1500 series, 14 inches of surface there for those skid runners. So a little bonus for you guys here. I, I do actually have a 2500 pusher right here, okay? And you can see it's right next to a, a 1500. And so I don't have this thing set up yet and I <laughs> really didn't want to move it around, but I thought I'd take a few dimensions for you, but you can also physically see the size difference. You know, this is a 54 inch over here. Uh, this is a 96 inch and the 2500 series. You have to have a, a big beefy tractor to put this sucker on, okay? And so again, this, is, this would be the front up here. This one's laying on its back and that one's standing upright like it should be. I'll go ahead and measure front to back on here. That way you can see the, the depth of the mold board. Get our deepest spot there. And you're essentially 31 inches deep, okay? So you might be able to see the, the, the back drag here. This is for the HLA 2500 series. You can see you have the same amount of steel, the same as a 1500 or 1800 series here that runs across, but they don't continue it uh, the whole rest of the way back there. So, I mean, it would be so heavy and so expensive at that point, it probably just wouldn't make financial sense for anybody to buy it. So I think this is a, a reasonable option. And you can see there's this bracing back here that goes in and is actually gonna bolt right on to this area here for support. With the 2500 series, you're still gonna have those same features. You got the skid runner here. Let's go ahead and take a dimension of that runner so you can have that. So you're looking at roughly almost 26 inches of contact surface with these skid runners. Again, they are adjustable up and down. Same thing with the cutting edge, rubber or steel, reversible and replaceable. Well, again, this is a brief look at HLA's new 1800 series snow pusher. This could be the one for you. Send me an email, goodworkstractors at gmail.com or just go to the website, goodworkstractors.com. Get more pictures and details and information of these snow pushers there. We can help you figure out the right one for you. We can get it shipped to you. We ship these things all over the country all the time. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my Facebook page. Make sure you check out my other videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.